This video covers Visicon's markup capabilities. The solution offers easy to use and flexible markup options directly on your 3D BIM models. Easily disseminate your comments as PDF reports or portable Visicon model files. Use any combination of 2D overlays and 3D annotations to effectively communicate about your model. All markups are linked to views, making it easy to manage them in your BIM. Disseminate your markups with Visicon's PDF reports faster and more organized than you can by taking multiple screenshots. You can choose to share your comments as a portable Visicon file. A project dashboard makes it easy to manage your views and markups. 2D overlays are markups that are placed on top of a view. They let you add comments to your 3D model just like you would in a regular PDF markup program, with the difference that you don't lose the context of the underlying 3D model. You can draw lines, line strips, arrows, circles, rectangles, polygons, text callouts, and simple text blocks. You have the option of locking the camera position and your 2D markups in place or allowing the 3D model in the background to move. All 2D overlays are fully editable objects, giving you full control of their display characteristics. Let's create a 2D markup. The scenario we're looking at is a rooftop canopy. We've just been in touch with the architect and we've been instructed to increase the clearance from 12.83 to 13 feet. So we've already gone to a specific view that we called canopy clearance and we want to add our annotations. We're going to start by using the callout. So we're going to come in and add a callout. And this is going to be just our, our general message to say increase clearance to 13 feet. As I mentioned, all of these are fully editable, so you can always manage the layout as you require. The second message we want to pass on to the structural engineer is to go ahead and increase the length of these columns. So we're going to use our line segment tool. And if I come into the line segment tool, grab this, I have access to the properties. For example, I can change the color to the same color as my callout. Lastly, we're going to come in and add comments about the connection here. So we're going to go again, callouts, and just tell the structural engineer to verify connections between canopy and walls at these locations. So it's, a, it's as simple as this to go ahead and create your markup. 3D annotations complement 2D overlays by letting you add notes to a model that become part of the 3D environment and are visible to all users from any viewing angle. You can create 3D lines, spot tags, spot elevations, spot coordinates, and spot slopes. Similar to 2D overlays, all 3D annotations are fully editable objects. Let me show you how easy it is to create a spot tag. In this scenario, we're dealing with an industrial plant. We've just come to know that this particular plate was misplaced or lost during transport, and we want to communicate that to the rest of the project team. Just a 2D overlay would just be limited to one view. In this case, we want to make something that is more easily viewable by anybody who opens the model. So we're going to go to our views and markup. We're going to use a spot tag. It tells us whether we want to create the spot tag on the default view or a global view. In our case, we want this to be visible for in all views, so we're going to keep it on the default view. To create the spot tag, I grab any surface. So here we're going to grab the face of the plate, and I add the tail of my annotation, 3D annotation. I can select the 3D annotation, go to its properties, and add a comment. So here, plate missing during transportation, please locate. Right, so this is now something that if I close this and if I zoom out, you can see that this is now viewable from any angle that you come into the model at. Markups are linked to individual views for easier management. Below is a screenshot from the views list in the project browser. Markups assigned to the default view are visible in all other views. You can use this feature to add general notes to the model. 
markups created on any user-defined global view are only visible in that view. The fastest and easiest way to share your markups is by using the PDF Views and Markup Report. It generates a PDF report of all of your views and markups. We can switch to Visicon and see how fast it is to create one. In this scenario, we're dealing with an architectural model. We just got off the phone with the owner who has been reviewing the 2D plans and wants to increase the width of the bottom footprint of the building. And we need to communicate this to the architect. We're going to start out in our default view. We're going to create a new view. We'll call this changed dimensions, right? Because we want to create a new, a new view. We can close this project browser. And so the easiest way to communicate that is we'll go ahead and create a clip plane increase it to this point and at this stage we can go to our measure we'll add in a clearance measurement of 6.096 we know in our discussions with the owner they want something about 6.5 meters so we're going to go to views and markups again use our call out and add our text increase width to 6.5 meters. Grab this, put it somewhere where there's more contrast. If we need to change the visibility, we can always come in and make adjustments. Now to send this message to the architect, we go to reports, we create a view and markup summary. To create the report, we'll just keep the default resolution and just hit run. You can see we've already created the PDF report, which has our default view plus the mark we just created and can email this off to the architect. Instead of communicating your message through traditional 2D PDF methods, take advantage of Visicon's very small file size to send your markups as a native Visicon file. Think of this as an alternative to 3D PDF with more options for the person receiving your model comments. Others don't need a Visicon license to open and interact with your model. As another option, send a portable Visicon project. In this case, the person you email your model to doesn't even have to install Visicon. A Visicon portable project is a self-contained executable with a compact version of Visicon and your model details. It just runs by double-clicking on it. If you choose to send your Visicon model to other project participants, the dashboard helps them navigate through your views and markups. In summary, Visicon is an easy-to-use and effective BIM markup tool. Use it to document and communicate your project ideas and issues. Thank you for watching our video. Contact sales at visicon.com or sales at adaptsoft.com to request your free intro version.